So what would you do if you couldn't get out? Okay, first thing I would do is assess, okay, my car broke down, I have no money, whatever the case might be. How many people are living in with you right now? Maybe it's just you, maybe it's you and a child, maybe it's you and a spouse, maybe it's you and somebody else, whatever. How many are in the family right now? How many people do I need to feed for two weeks? Let's take a stock of what do we have? What do we have in the freezer? What do we have in the fridge? What's in our you know overflow stockpile? What can we do with what we have? That's what I would do in a case like that. Again, you want to have two weeks worth of food. We're gonna go into that a little bit more in a moment. Then talk about the situation that happened with me. I have two weeks. I didn't know how long I would have, but I'm gauging it based on two weeks. My husband all of a sudden goes in the hospital, unexpected. We're driving, doing errands, Next thing I know, I'm at the ER with him, dropping him off. Can't go in because of the virus, at least in our state, in New Jersey, you cannot go in the hospital with a loved one. I had to drop him off at the door. Security met him and walked him in and I had to go home. I had no idea how long he'd be in the hospital. Was it overnight? Would I pick him up that day? Um, the end of the day, was it an overnight and ended up five days in the hospital? Well, that's five days he's there. I'm home with my son. I still had to work. What am I going to do? How do I, what do I do? And then not knowing the second week, would my husband still be in the hospital? Would he be home recovering? How bad would he be? And so on. I needed to take stock. I looked in my refrigerator immediately. What is left over in the refrigerator that I need to use up? How can I make that into meals for me and my son? What do I need to do? The other thing for me, and, and is this depends on your lifestyle, I work full time. So when I come home from work, I now have to also run a home, take care of my son, deal with my husband on the phone or run to the hospital. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. I also take care of my parents a little bit. Um, they have their own home, they're older, but they have needs, neither one of them drive at this point. They might need groceries, they might need medical care. You know, we're over there several nights a week helping them. So I had to sort of assess what foods are in my refrigerator I need to use up that I can make quick, simple, easy meals healthy. I need to keep that energy up. I've got lots of things happening and so on. So can I stress any more? You don't ever know when an emergency will hit and you will need to have food for two weeks. Two weeks at a minimum. Usually in two weeks, there's something happening at the end of that. Your power will come back on. Your car will be repaired. You'll get your paycheck. Your, your loved one will be coming home from the hospital or you'll have the next plan laid out as to, okay, what's the next step for that? But to mentally know that you always have two weeks worth of food in your home for any situation, for any emergency. We have right now a, um, what do they call it? A brush fryer, Graham, or a forest fire? Uh, maybe 20 minutes from my home. Let's, I'm guessing, 20 minutes, 25 minutes at the most. And right now, the we have the Garden State Parkway. It's shut down in a certain area. Uh, that's on one side of us. On the other side is another road called Route 70. That is shut down because of this forest fire. It has actually jumped over a garden. The Garden State Parkway is a, a major freeway. I don't know what you would call it, depending on where you live in your states, but major roads, double four lanes here, an island, and now another four lanes. And it has jumped over this Garden State Parkway to the other side. It's major. Helicopters are going over. Every county's fire trucks are there. It's pretty bad right now. Those people that had to evacuate their home, I'm actually still waiting to hear from a friend how she's doing. She lives in that area. What if you had to grab food because you're being evacuated? Would you have, you're not going to go in there and grab a, a bunch of broccoli and some celery and let's grab a bag of carrots and you might grab a bag of apples and your bunch of bananas if you, know, you need some fruit, but you know what I'm saying? If you had an emergency and you had to leave your home, what would you do? What could you grab? Do you have canned goods? Do you have pretzels? Do you have crackers and maybe some cheese and peanut butter and things that you could grab for an emergency that you needed to evacuate for a short period of time so you could get to safety, that you could eat in your car or eat if they, in this case, they went to an elementary school. 
and to sustain your family and to keep everyone calm. Listen, your family might just be you. You need to think about you. You need to take care of you. So two weeks are so important. Okay, if you hear the electric guitar in the background, that's my youngest son practicing upstairs. But let me just show you here in my pantry. What kind of things can we use if we had a two week emergency? Okay, let's have a quick look. So down here, I have canned meat. I have pork, I have beef, I have chicken, I have corned beef, beef stew back here. I know it's hard to see, the lighting is not the best. Um, we have ramen. We have evaporated milk, oils, I have powdered milk. I have juice, I have crackers. We have cranberries here, we have pasta. Way up here, I have vegetables, okay? I have some extra cereals and teas. Down here, I have canned fruit. More fruit here. I have canned raviolis and applesauce and condiments here. I have a stack of tuna. Back here, what do I have? Ragu, I have canned, my own canned vegetables. As you can see, we have tomato sauces and things in the back. This is all spices in the middle. Back here, I have mustards, baked beans. That's a great thing to have. Uh, coming down here, we have canned pumpkin and we have coconut milk, things like that. Down here, I have peanut butter, canned soups, and canned beans. I have extra water. Jars of sauce that I have canned, more peanut butter. Ground beef that I have canned. Um, onion soup that I've canned. Uh, I have plums and things like that, more dried fruit. I have in here crackers, more crackers, oatmeal, cans of sausage and gravy, um, more cereal, some of this I still have to put away. I have, uh, this has been highly recommended by several of my um, viewers to have. This is canned meat. This is excellent to have. What else do we have? Let's see, let me bring you over here on the door. We have um, soup mix, we have rices, we have chili, uh, jasmine rice, cookies, macaroni and cheeses, things like that. And over here, I'm not gonna open it, but in the bottom drawer, I have chili that's in a bag that's already cooked. You just basically have to warm it up. Okay, welcome back. So now that you've looked into my pantry, I've shown you just a few things. Um, this is my pantry. This is Lynn Wilson's pantry. This is not your pantry. This is not your budget. This is not your taste buds. This is not your storage area. This is just an idea. Some of you might have looked in there and said, what is she got in here? I would never use any of this. I'd probably do the same if I looked in maybe your pantry. I have to build my pantry on what my family likes, what they eat, um, what I can afford how much room I have to store it in, and so on. Um, let's talk menu, okay? I can pretty much take anything. And if you need some great ideas, uh, Mornings with Granny. I know many of you were sent over to me by Mornings with Granny, and I want to, again, return that favor. Check out her channel. But she has many videos. I think I did one or maybe two called What If. And what if you only have these things left and she'll do maybe a tablespoon of peanut butter and an egg and maybe two carrots and she comes up with oddball things that you know what if this is all you have and you needed to feed yourself for a day what could you make out of this meal it is a great exercise what if what if you were to open what if right now right now if you stop this video and you walked over to your refrigerator what if you opened your refrigerator and you said, based on what's in my refrigerator today, could I make two weeks worth of meals What's from what's in my refrigerator? Right now, if I had to walk over to my refrigerator, 